This is episode 121. Are you trying to make your page show up for a keyword, but you're just not sure why your page isn't ranking in Google? You know, there could be a million and one reasons why your page might not be ranking. But one common failure I see is that people are not writing for the right audience. To help find what the best audience to write for, all you need to do is go to Google. And in today's episode, I will tell you more about how you can analyze the Google results pages to see what audience to write for so you can improve your keyword rankings. So let's get started. Welcome to the Calm Marketer Podcast. My name is Kenneth Fong, a digital marketer on a mission to help businesses thrive. I'll bring you on my marketing journey where you'll get to learn from my experiences as an INFP navigating an extroverted world and get actionable marketing tips for your business. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let's begin. So today's episode kind of piggybacks off of the previous two episodes uh, that I published. Um, They were talking about audiences and how to find audiences to target for your paid ads and your social media campaigns. In today's episode, I want to flip it a little bit and talk a little bit more about the SEO side of things, the organic side of things, and how you can find out the best type of audiences to to reach for your for your SEO campaigns. Now, one way to do that is to use a a free tool, and that free tool is Google. Dot com. Um, this is something that I use every day, and you can use Google to determine why you are not ranking on the first page of Google. And in many cases, there could be a million and one cases why you might not be ranking. But one of the reasons why you might not be ranking is because your page is not speaking to the right audience. So you need to make sure that you are speaking, number one, to the right audience and also speaking to their intent, right? So what does it what does it mean when I say intent? That basically means that uh, you the reason why they are searching, why are they searching for that specific keyword? And you need to answer, and speak to that searcher intent. Okay, so kind of funny, um, you know, I worked with a client before and we were trying to rank for a very broad, broad keyword. And uh, they were not a local business, they were a national global brand. And they wanted to rank for a very broad, broad keyword that had over 100,000 searches a month. And for whatever reason, we were not ranking um, too well for this broad keyword. And upon looking at Google, we noticed that a lot of the pages that were ranking on the first page were local business pages. A lot of them were were shops that were ranking on the first page. There was a Google my there was a map listing section, and there were a couple of Yelp listings that were showing up, and the rest, for the most part, were local businesses that were ranking for this very highly competitive broad uh, keyword. So that gave us a lot of insight. Just looking at the first page of Google really gave us insight into why we were were not ranking as a national website, why we were not ranking. And that was because Google was prioritizing the local websites because when someone were to search for that specific keyword, uh, Google was noticing that those people were looking for shops around them. So... 
spend time analyzing the first page because it will really help you determine determine who the audience is that you need to be targeting. Okay, so the f- there's four things that I always look at when looking at the top 10 pages. The first thing is just the common themes that the top 10 pages are writing about, right? Like, are they more um, informational or transactional? So what do I mean by informational or transactional? Uh, Informational basically means content that is informational to the point where it educates the searcher. It talks about um, details around that particular search term. While a transactional is more about taking action. It's more about um, maybe purchasing a specific product or going to a specific brand page or logging in to a website. That's more transactional as well, right? So for example, a transactional gift card, a transactional search term uh, could be like if you are trying to rank for Kohl's gift card, uh, redeeming a Kohl's gift card, that's a transactional term because people type that in to, to either purchase or redeem a gift card by Kohl's. An informational search term could be uh, essential oils for energy, right? Uh, essential oils for energy is all about learning more about what types of essential oils I should be taking to boost my energy during the day. So those are two different types of of pieces of content that you need to know are ranking on the first page. Are they transactional or informational? Next thing you want to look at are the keywords that are being optimized for. All right. So aside from that main keyword, try to look at what other keywords those top 10 competitors are also mentioning. And you want to write those down because you should be adding those keywords to your page as well. And the third thing that you need to look at are what kind of products or services are being promoted, right? Uh, Like for example, if I search for essential oils for energy, you know, I'm just going through the top 10 competitors and I see, you know, doTERRA listed as the products. I see other products like Rocky Mountain Oils. Um, You know, I just want to see what kind of products or services are being promoted. I don't see services here. You know, I don't see aroma therapists being listed on the top 10. I see mainly products. So what does that tell me? It tells me that if I want to rank for essential oils for energy, I need to be listing out products. Okay. And the next thing is just the general uh, tone of voice that's being mentioned and also the types of content that's being uh, leveraged. So open up all of these top 10 competitors and look at the general tone of voice. Are they uh, speaking to moms, females, males, busy executives? Uh, Are they speaking to uh, full-time employees that have anxiety? You know, with essential oils, a lot of the times people use them to relieve their anxiety, their tension, or to fall asleep. But you want to know what kind of people they are, right? And you determine that by just looking at the general tone of voice, okay? And another thing as a bonus, aside from these top four things, another thing that I like to look at are the pieces of content. So aside from the text that's being uh, published, are people posting video? Are they posting images? Right off the bat, I know that if I open up all of these pages that are ranking for the search term essential oils for energy, almost all of them have a heavy focus on images, 
So what does that tell me? If I run, if I want to rank on the first page, I really need to focus on creating really eye-catchy images. So use this type of, of thought process when trying to make your page show up for a specific keyword. And if you can implement what you can see for your top 10 competitors, you have a higher chance of, of ranking and, and beating them out, right? And uh, another thing that you can do is also uh, use an SEO tool to do competitive analysis. Um, an SEO tool that I use every, every, every single day is SEMrush, and they have their market research tool uh, that will kind of give you some insight as to what kind of audiences uh, your competitors are reaching, what kind of audiences you should be reaching. So you can look at their, it's called the Market Explorer tool in SEMrush. And I'll include a link to the Market Explorer tool so you can take a look at it for free. You can look at the audience interests, um, the gender and the age. And this will give you a lot of insight into how you should be writing your content. All right, so hopefully uh, you thought this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at bit.ly forward slash the calm marketer. That's bit.ly forward slash the calm marketer and speak to me through there. Uh, with that said, I will speak to you on the next episode.